are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Pastor? I'm alright. Thank you so much, Pastor. Uh, Pastor, I just wanted to say thank you. You know, from the day when you prayed for my son over that problem of cancer, Pastor, my son got you. And, uh, I, I just wanted to say thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much. Amen, amen. God is really merciful. God is really merciful. Amen. Yeah, glory be unto him, for he Amen. heals each and every disease that might might come on a person. Amen, Pastor. Amen, Pastor. Pastor, thank you so much. I, I, I don't know how I can appreciate you, Pastor. Thank you so much, and may God continue using you mightly. Thank you, Pastor. Have a blessed night. Amen. You should just appreciate the, the you should just appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Um, Amen. My son, have a good night. Thank you so much, Pastor. Yeah. Have a blessed night too. Oh, thank you, son. Amen. What are you talking about? What? You are a loser. Me a loser? <laughs> oh, you are right. I am a loser. But you know what? You are also a loser. You know the reason why? Is it not written in your word? <laughs> your God said the word. And then those who receive the word. They got you. You, you too. You received it away. Yes, Pastor. You received it away. And you are there still suffering from that sickness. Pastor, your God has failed <laughs> you. Your God has failed. Satan, I know God is going to heal me. Never. Never. As long as I, I be Satan. <laughs> if I have not allowed this. You cannot be healed. Ah. <laughs> For how long? For how long have you been playing, Pastor? Pastor, you're playing enough. You're playing, you're fasting. For how many days have you fasted, Pastor? Hey! You're fasting enough. And yet, your God has failed to heal you. Your God is ignoring your place. Satan! Satan! And get out of my presence right now. saying that his son has been healed from cancer. Yet all my life, I've been having this problem. I've been coughing. I'm failing to breathe no more. I'm just a laughing stock wherever I go. My fellow pastors laugh at me. My church members laugh at me. Master, forgive me, 
For I'm not always confident with those. <laughs> Peace be with you, Flint. Slow to speak is a good quality. <laughs> Father, I have a question to ask you. Go ahead. You sent me to go and heal the sick. That means you gave me the power of healing. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> but with this condition of mine, <laughs> I find it very difficult. <laughs> I find it very difficult, Father, to agree that I, I have power to heal. Do you want to be healed? Yes, if that's possible. Flint, you have seen enough to know that it is possible, right? Yes. Then why do you doubt me? I don't doubt you. But why, has it, why does it not happen? Listen, I want you to pay particular attention and listen carefully because everything that I'm going to tell you is centered on this point now. Go ahead, Master. Do you remember my servant, Apostle Paul? Yes. He had a thorn in his flesh. Yes. Did it take his life? No. It made him stronger. It made him stronger. You have spoken well. Remember, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Have you forgotten my word? No. Have you forgotten any word? Now listen. In my father's will, I can heal you right now. But sometimes things have to be made messier before they can be made clean. Sometimes. <coughs> pain has to be allowed in order to sharpen you so that you may be able to praise God even in your condition. A man like you healing the sick? Oh, what a sight! Remember, you did not choose me. I chose you. I loved you first. Do you think it is impossible for me to hear you? No, not at all. <laughs> but why are not you? Good question. My son, I can hear you right now, right here. Because that is my father's will, to see you in good health, even as you are so prosperous. Now, if you can be patient in your suffering and able to heal the sick and do my father's will, in spite of your condition, if you can be that patient, how much more can the people you pray for? It is difficult to understand. But my father and I trust you that even in this condition, you will still praise my God and my Father. Yes. 
I know you are saying you are a burden. A burden? Yes, I feel that but there are people out there who are stronger than me. They are older than me. Maybe even special than me. That's why they miss it there in me. Genesis. so special in the eyes of my father. And let me tell you, I love you and I don't want to ever hear you say that again. You are not a burden because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Remember my words. Come unto me, O ye that labor. Your sickness is healthy. After you pass from this earth, you will not suffer anything. But why then can we just take me? Just take me out there. Your way is not my way. My father's way. The time is not right. is not yet right. When the time is right, I will make everything the way they are supposed to be. Continue working. This is the reason why your sickness has not taken you away. Ask yourself one question: How many people have died because of that same sickness? But time and chance. I'm not yet done with you. You still have a lot of things to do for my father's kingdom. So that sickness, it is, but for a moment. I can promise you that you will be here. It's just a matter of time. Just hold on a little bit. Remember, they that wait upon my father, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings as eagles. They shall run and never be worried. They shall walk and not faint. You have to learn how to wait. My son, remember, you are going to be here. It's just a matter of time. Shalom, my son. And flint, yes. precious flint. Yes, master. Remember, I and my father, we have a perfect plan for you. A plan not to you. A plan to give you a hope in the future. Your future is not in your sin. Nor in the hands of the enemy. Your future is in my father's hands. And he's going to make everything beautiful. And when you pass from this earth to eternity, there will be no crying, no sorrow, no suffering. Many are sick, they are waiting to be healed. Their hearts are in prison. They are waiting for you to preach the good tidings. That sickness you are having right now is one of the reasons why you have so much compassion for the sick. That is why it is still with you. 
that thorn in your flesh is the reason why you have compassion for the sick and you pray for their healing. That is the reason why you are able to help those who are suffering. Sometimes your sickness is there to make you more loving and compassionate for others. That sickness may really and it will not kill you but it is there to help you to have more compassion for the sick and to pray for them and to help them and to preach the message. Remember Shalom, my son. Shalom, master. And remember, yes, master, I have got perfect plans for you. Nothing can kill you until I say so. Who is it that can speak a word and it comes to pass if my father has not allowed it? Remember and keep my statutes in your heart. Just hold on a little longer. You are going to be healed. It's just a matter of time. Shalom, my son. Bravo! 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 Implant!